Hey everyone, welcome to the review of the of the Logitech MK220 keyboard and mouse combo, an inexpensive wireless keyboard and mouse combo. Let's review it. First off, as you can see, this keyboard and mouse, this keyboard is pretty compact. I mean, it's not the biggest compact keyboard, but it's very compact. It's more compact than other keyboards. I mean, you could just throw this into a bag, even though it's you're not really intended for it. But it's easy to throw into a bag. With the mouse, it's also compact, and you can throw this into a bag. I haven't tested if you can just use just the mouse without the keyboard, but I assume you can, as they just use the same receiver. And speaking of the receiver, here it is, here it is right here. It is just a, it's not the Logitech Unifying receiver, it's just a generic Logitech receiver. I've noticed that this has a very bad, a very slow, not very slow, a very bad dropout, dropout timing. I've noticed it dropping out tons and tons of times, and and that's a bad thing. If you, but if you're, but if you're willing to try and make alterations to your setup to make sure that you don't get dropouts, it's 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 a pretty good receiver. Now, now type on a keyboard is really nice. The key. The key travel is decent, maybe a bit charged to some people, but it's really nice key travel. It's not a satisfying um, mechanical keyboard sound, but if you're one of those people like me, you know, who doesn't care about clips, who doesn't care how the keyboard sounds, then this keyboard should do the trick for you. The keyboard has shortcut keys like home, so home page on the internet browser. Emails, search, oh, or control, or control F on your apps, but does take you to Windows Search, calculator, hmm, music player, you know, your music controls, mute, volume down, volume up, general things that can that can help you navigate around your computer. Now, one of the things that some people may feel bad may feel weird about is the non standard design of the keyboard. As you can see it's all your know, middle part before is it's all compact. You know, once again, this is not intended to be you know standard keyboard ever it's just meant to be an expensive keyboard that anyone can buy. The battery life and the of the keyboard and mouse is really good. Logitech advertises it have the keyboard having a 24 month battery life and and the mouse having a 5 month battery life and it's evident as I have not had to cha change the batteries yet it's, uh, this, and it's like to be almost a month into using the keyboard and mouse I like this because I don't have to worry about putting batteries in every week every or every two weeks as I am a pretty heavy user on the computer the um the keyboard the keyboard uses standard the keyboard uses standard triple A batteries. While the mouse, while the mouse uses uses triple A batteries. I would have loved to see um, Logitech get some rechargeables, but but for the price, it's really good. But but then again, you're going for a fifteen dollar keyboard and mouse. You don't you don't need the best of the best in terms of battery life. You can just buy the Panasonic and any loops if you want rechargeable batteries for your keyboard and mice. The mouse is really good. The tracking is the tracking is solid and it has a good feel to it. This keyboard and mouse set, even though for the price, it does not have a cheap feel to it. It feels really nice and, it, and it's just awesome for me. Even though I am a gamer, I don't want, I don't like mechanical keyboards, I really don't, but I like keyboards like this, I prefer membrane keyboards, membrane wireless keyboards. So, anyways, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.